Hi there and welcome back to Google Guru. I just wanted to take you through a recent update to Google Spreadsheets and that's the ability to protect ranges of cells in a spreadsheet. So I've got a simple annual budget spreadsheet here and I want to send this out to a couple colleagues so they can fill in values in the yearly expenses column. The monthly column and the percent column are both formulas based off of that yearly column, so there's no reason for my colleagues to edit those columns. So I can go ahead and highlight those cells and protect them. I'll show you how I do that right now. Highlight the cells you want to protect, right click, and go to Name and Protect Range. There are some rules you need to follow when you're naming your range. You can only use letters, numbers, and underscores. You can't use the words true or false to begin the range, and obviously you can't use any special characters. You also have the option to protect the range, which is what I was just talking about, and that makes it so that your collaborators can, you can control who can edit and who can view the range. So I've actually already done that for the percent column, and I'm going to go to modify these permissions right now. So you can see I've shared this spreadsheet with present and presentations and Sir Docs a lot, and I've made it so that they can only view this range. I've done the same thing for the monthly column, can view. And then I've also named the yearly expenses column. Even though I'm going to let them edit that column, I need to use um, this range somewhere else in the, in the sheet, which we'll get to in my next video. I've made it so that they can both edit that range. And if you close out of this but need to get back to it, go to data and then named and protected ranges. So you're probably wondering, what is this going to look like for the collaborators when they log in? Well, I've actually got President Presentation's account open right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and show you. So when he logs in, the protected ranges are going to have this sort of gray dotted background on them. Now he can turn this display on and off by going to view and then checking or unchecking protected ranges. And if he goes to edit this cell, he gets a message that says, you're trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the owner to remove protection if you need to edit. So that's about it for protecting ranges. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go through naming ranges and why that's really useful. So stay tuned. Thanks.